Hey guys, this is Mehak from Coding Blocks, and today we have with us Aditya, and he's going to share his success story with us. So, hi Aditya, firstly congratulations hi. for the placement. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Aditya, why didn't you just introduce yourself firstly? Okay, so uh, my name is Aditya. I am a student of Maharaj Agrasen Institute, and met as we all know it in Delhi. So I have graduated from uh, BTEC in IT stream. So, uh, how would I describe myself? Uh, my basic introduction would be that currently I am a developer, but uh, let's just say I'm a, I have done a lot of things uh, during my uh, four years of graduation. Uh, not only just development, not just coding, but uh, uh, the thing that I am like looking for, like the thing that I am interested in, is technology itself. So I've done a lot of things. I have uh, have a small bit of an experience in a lot of things, including uh, cybersecurity, machine learning, and everything, blockchain. So right. yeah, I, I have done a little bit of everything. And I'm currently a software engineer at Black Hawk Network. Yeah. Great. Congratulations. OK, so um, that was about your overview. So uh, mm -hmm. what was the hiring process of Black Hawk? Okay, so uh, Blackhawk's hiring process consisted of around uh, four stages, five if you include the initial uh, online exam. So first of all, there was an initial uh, written online exam that uh, had uh, coding question as well as aptitude questions and okay. a couple of development questions also. Okay. So it basically was an overview of everything that uh, basically a company needs. The standard was, uh, I would say a little bit to the difficult side because uh, okay. the coding questions were, yeah. uh, as in not in not in the sense that the questions were difficult, but that the test itself was difficult because the time was uh, short, uh, depending upon the number of questions that were there. So it was, so what was okay. The, time the number of questions that were asked? Uh, around uh, 13, 14 questions were there, and I think it was okay. one hour that was given to me. So All that right. included so coding, online, that included right? aptitude. Yeah, it was online. Yeah. So okay. the entire process was online. After that, there were three successful rounds of uh, uh, interviews, uh, okay. which were taken by the team members only. So they were technical interviews, uh, per se. And uh, all of them consisted of basically so the first interview uh, was the easiest of the interview in terms of how the difficulty of the questions were there. Oh. So pretty standard questions. I wouldn't say they were uh, difficult at all. So basic data structure pro problem solving that was there. Uh, I would say that in all of the three interviews, uh, the level was slightly increasing a little bit better from the previous ones. But uh, the thing that they were looking for was the ability to solve a question, a solve a problem okay. that was there. Yeah. So whatever problem that they gave to me, uh, the approach uh, that I took was initially, I just gave them whatever I was thinking, whatever was going on in my mind. They had told me to code uh, simultaneously while sharing my screen. So I shared my screen. I wrote the code uh, in Python. I wrote okay. they uh, were flexible okay. about the language. So initially, I just uh, uh, implemented everything that I was, you know, uh, that was going on in my head right now on uh, in that moment. So I developed from scratch a basic solution that was working. So yeah. after working, after like uh, reaching to a particular working solution, I optimized that solution, added, uh, you know, the code, made the code a little bit readable for the uh, assessor to you know judge and gave a little bit uh, of a test cases uh, i made a few test cases by myself and made the question run on it so yeah that was basically my approach during all the three interviews so the first uh, they were around two three questions related to the problem solving only in all the three interviews the third interview in particular was uh, it was titled the bar razor interview so yeah. in that interview apart from that uh, problem solving coding questions there were other things also that were asked based on my resume 
So okay. I had a few internships. I had a few projects that were uh, there. So there was a lot of time that we uh, spent, uh, the interviewer and me. We spent a lot of time discussing about uh, what the projects that I had written in my interview and how was my approach to solve what kind of a problem and whether I understood that particular problem statement that I was trying to solve. So okay. you basically need to understand what problem you are tackling, then you need to build a solution and around that solution, uh, you know, you need to understand the, uh, basically break down the uh, bigger problem into a set of uh, small problems. Basically, that is how it goes. So we discussed a lot on I had done a project on blockchain, blockchain okay. development. So that he was a little, uh, that he was he was a lot uh, you know interested in. So we discussed about the technology uh, blockchain in itself and how it comes into picture in the world that we live in. So that uh, consisted of a during your internship or in college. Uh, this was a personal project, not this exactly. Okay. Yeah, the, this is not exactly an internship. This is not is exactly uh, in okay. like. Anything else? This is just a hobby kind of a project that you know. As I said, I liked technology as a whole, so I was uh, exploring blockchain as a technology. What exactly is that? What exactly is there? So I made a project around that to uh, see how it works. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. It's very fancy uh, if you you know look at it. So yeah, uh, there was a lot of talk around that. <clears throat> so yeah, these, okay, so this was my they were testing your. Uh, ability how you solve the you know questions yep. your problem solving ability basically yeah so after this interview what kind of uh, what topics you would like to highlight you one should prepare for the interviews okay so if i would say that uh, you were if you like want to prepare for a interview first of all the thing that you should do is look up the company which you are like going for an interview with so in my case uh, i knew that that my company is a product company hmm. i knew that there is a product that they need to you know sell so that kind of uh, came in my mind what exactly my approach should be towards uh, any questions or yeah. like uh, any kind of answers that i uh, you know have to get so you have to uh, be enthusiastic about uh, how the company or what the company is offering you you have to show them that you are enthusiastic about the work that you are going into you have to show that you are confident in your own you know skills whatever you do and uh, i think you one should give himself or herself uh, enough time so that you are at least sure in yourself that you are uh, whatever yeah. you are doing you are doing good after that, you apply for a company, and the approach is uh, basically laid down after researching about the company itself. So that was my personal approach. I would say that that is the one thing that you you know a lot of people should do. So okay. yeah. Okay. So uh, what was the hiring process of this company? Any eligibility criteria? What was the minimum CGPA involved? Uh, also, was it was off an, campus or on campus? Uh, it was an off campus. Uh, okay. As I said, so I. How did you apply uh, first? Okay, so I uh, I was in my fourth year of engineering, and uh, around that time, the placements and everything was there. So coming from a, you know, I would say not so bright or not the top college in the country, you tend to worry about uh, where you go and in. On top of that, there was this pandemic thing going on, COVID going on. So a lot of stories you hear as to people getting laid off and everything. So there was a little bit of a tension, yeah. like, uh, yeah, there was a little bit of tension going on uh, inside the head of everybody around me, including me. So I came across a course by Coding Blocks called the Career Bootcamp. So the thing that I was most interested in, it was, there was a lot of syllabus, there was a, a uh, lot of syllabus that was to be covered, including data structures and algorithm, including web development. And uh, they promised to, you know, uh, teach that to, they were basically just very confident about teaching them and making me something that I, uh, you know, would like, basically. So that thing, that enthusiasm from coding blocks part, I liked a lot. Uh, then 
I entered the course. There were a lot of questions that were given to us after the classes and everything. It was all the an online process. There was an exam or like eligibility exam to get into the course itself. Oh. After that, yeah. uh, you know, there were questions and everything that I used to practice. Development in particular, I liked a lot. Uh, whenever like we used to get a particular problem as to you have to for example you have to design a tic tac toe uh, game so there were a few things that were taught to us javascript was done at that point of time jquery was done at that point of time what my approach used to do was whatever questions that were you know coming to me i tried to solve them using different technology like not exactly technology but i would say the different types of approaches so first mm-hmm. i would do with only javascript first uh, the second time i would do with the, uh, like implementing jquery then i used to do do with node js and that sort of a thing so that basically uh, you know i backed my uh, basics a lot i tried to strengthen my basics as much as i can as much as i could and uh, through coding blocks only i came to know that uh, the there was this opportunity at a company called blackhawk i applied uh, yeah. Oh. i applied to them got to the uh, you know interview okay. process there was no uh, as such uh, you know basic minimum eligibility criteria you okay. just had to be either a, a final year student or a grad uh, like recent graduate all right and okay all yeah right. that was it no uh, i don't okay. remember so any cgp yeah i okay. don't even remember any cgp right. also so initially you mentioned that you you know you are obsessed with technology and everything so um, yeah. during the college did you participate in any of the hackathons and everything and you know oh yeah 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 so yeah that is a like thank you for asking this that <laughs> was a good you know part of what uh, made me today so basically hackathons are something that uh, you go to you don't exactly know what exactly uh, needs to be done initially and you just stay there get to the feel of it and get to know the feel of it and try to solve a problem with min- minimum resources that you have in a limited amount of time you the basic most important thing that uh, uh, i learned uh, in hackathons in going to hackathons was that uh, you know the idea of uh, any solution is the most important thing that uh, you know you can have so that idea you need to refine to the core you, you that it, idea needs to be the most important like not exactly the most important but uh, has to be clear inside your head as to what you are what solution you are proposing so that kind of a thing i learned in hackathons and everything so yeah i went to a lot of hackathons learned a lot of things different technologies that uh, no made me what i am today awesome okay so any last yeah. advice that you would like to give to people maybe regarding the interviews or uh, topics that to be practiced or hackathons anything okay. so basically you know when you go for an interview you don't exactly know what to practice so i would say that uh, i uh, like you know being a graduate uh, myself being a computer science graduate myself i know that uh, you cannot be completely prepared for an interview you just cannot be so you have to cover all your bases that you have be it coding be it competitive be it whatever development any resume you have any projects that you have done anything you just have to cover all your bases and be clear in your mind and like you know back yourself during that interview and you know speak with confidence confidence is a lot uh, you know matters a lot so you just need to have that uh, backing up yourself kind of a thing and that only comes when you cover all your bases you just know that whatever you are doing you know what you are doing so that is the kind of a thing that comes up only after covering all your bases so yeah that is one advice i would give thank you so much aditya for joining us today and sharing you know insights from the interview and everything so thank you and we hope you do well in your future endeavors as well thank, thank you. you thank you so much